Hello everybody, uh, my name is Sledge and I'm going to try something different here, um, kind of different, like I said, I don't know, thought I'd give this a try. We're going to be exploring subreddits and uh, hopefully this echo isn't too bad. Alright, so we're going to be exploring shitty car mods, uh, I have it set to the top rated stuff. So the first one is just called WOW. Yep! Um... Hmm. How would you... For one, how would you see out of that? And two, why the pointless spoiler on a hatchback? It's not the worst thing I've seen. I am a mechanic. Um, and in being a mechanic in West Virginia, you do see some uh, odd things. This isn't the worst thing I've seen. But uh, how would you see? I'm pretty sure... That, um... You would be pulled over. Mm-hmm. All right. When you, turning left is your hobby. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, this isn't the worst thing I've seen. Like I said, with the last one. Not the worst thing I've seen. Uh, but this is, does... This does uh, say that you have a little too much money. I mean, if it's an actual race car, that's one thing. Like, if you're a local... Like, in your local area you're racing, that that's perfectly fine. But, uh... I, I don't know. Who thought this was a good idea? Alright, let me take a look at that. Um... <laughs> RPM for your window wiper. Uh... That would be... I'm seeing a lot of problems with this because the win the wiper goes this way, which means like I'm gonna have have the cursor so you can see this too. But uh, like the wiper goes the other way, which means it would go this way. I mean, it'd go back, but overall, that's just like fluctuating RPMs. That's not good. Yeah, not the worst one I've seen, just kind of, just why. The worst thing I've ever seen done to a Celica. All right, let's take a look. What the fuck am I? Huh? It looks like someone made the this, like, made all this with, like, spray foam and then shaved it down. Why would you do this? Why? I... I don't... I... I uh... Oh... You... If it makes you happy, I guess. I personally don't see how that thing would run, because it's, uh... It doesn't look like it's in running order. Not at all. Yeah. Custom Grand Marquis I saw today. Oh. Um, so, did, did you want an Al Camino, but you couldn't find one? Have you tried going to Los Angeles? Those th people are selling them, like, a, a dime a dozen. Like, what? What, what am I looking at? Like, it, it, it's a truck bed, a shortened truck bed, added to a Grand Marquis. And I'm just wa I'm wondering why, because for one, that's too low to the ground. If you hit a bump, it, it doesn't look like it's welded solid on there at all. It's going to fall off. Like, why would you? I have seen where people have turned an old hearse into a truck, but they did that very well, and it actually looked good. This, that doesn't look good. Oh my god, someone's been playing too much GTA. This <laughs> this reminds me of that DLC, the uh, ill-gotten gains. I think it was it was one of the ones where you basically show off how rich you are. And why would you why would you do that? That just looks ugly. Fucking leopard print. It's never a good idea ever for anything. All right. Well, that one, that one, that last one was oof. Right, let's take a look at this. 
Uh... I mean, I have seen this kind of thing where I live, so I can't really say much about it. I mean, if decals are your thing, decals are your thing. Uh, looks like you also lowered it, which... Looking by where you live, by the palm trees and the styling of the houses, you, uh... It looks like you're living in California, which... You know... Is not a good idea, because the fucking... California roads are terrible. The same thing for West Virginia roads, too. You do not want something that low to the ground. You fucking destroy your car on a fuck goddamn street reflector. Just spotted this on the highway. LOL! I found one, guys! Oh, boy. Oh, all about them light bars, huh? Fairly certain that would get you pulled over. And at least they were smart and didn't attach the bolts to the fender. So they got that going for them, but just... You could have picked a smaller one and put it on the top. It still looks stupid, but not as. Okay, this one is called Just No. So, let's see if we're in for a good one. Oh, they donked a four-wheeler. Oh, God. Okay, for those of you who don't know, like, whenever people take, like, a car or something and put really big wheels and extend the tire well, it's called a donk. Um, but why would you put... Not only did you donk it, you put low pros on it. So not only is this thing a pavement princess, because you can't go off-roading in that thing because it would fall apart, it, it just looks stupid. I've never understood the fascination with that. I don't even think you can drive that anywhere. I hope, like, that's just saying, them saying that, uh, hey, we can do this. It's not a good idea, but we can. Don't recommend it, but you can. Uh... <laughs> This irks me a lot. How many exhaust pipes do you have? Before I click on this, I will say cars with multiple exhausts look fine and great. Like, if it comes with four exhaust pipes, that's awesome. But just telling from the thumbnail, this ain't gonna be good. Um... Yeah. First off, there's a lot of things wrong with this. For one, it's a Volvo. Two, you say it's a twin turbo, and it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You have ten exhausts. You have ten exhausts on this thing. The emissions on this is going to be terrible for one, and because of that, you're, I guarantee, with that much like air outtake, your fucking fuel consumption is terrible. Uh ooh. First off, why do I feel like I'm looking at Cole's car? Cole drives a Mercury Sable. Well, I say he drives. His girlfriend drives because he doesn't have a driver's license. But why would you do this? For one, a Mercury Sable is not a good car. I'm sorry if anyone out there drives a Mercury Sable. But it's not a good car to begin with. And then you have the fucking antlers on the front. What is even going on here? Can I zoom in on that? Is that just exposed wiring? Like, what happened? And then, is that the fucking baseball bat from, is that the baseball bat from Walking Dead? Is, is that what I'm looking at right there? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, don't, I can't, I don't know. It's, and then of course, the added wheel, which extend way past the body. That's not going to pass an inspection anytime soon. The only thing I can see wrong with this, or the two things I can see wrong with this is for one, this huge fucking decal. Like, right there. Which would obstruct your vision, which you would be pulled over for. And then also these tires, like... There's the... There's the rim, and then this expands way past it. Like, it looks like someone cut, uh, cut like, one of the big, like, big buckets to make that extra rim. What are you... Huh? If this guy parked next to me with those tires like that, because my apartment complex, our 
our parking spots are narrow as shit. Like, I drive a Fiesta, and my tires almost touch both lines. And then there's always this one asshole that always parks right next to me in a lifted truck. I don't have a problem with lifted trucks. I like the look of lifted trucks. But he has the tires that, like, ex like poke out two, three inches from the body of his truck. And they're, like, rub his tires are rubbing against mine almost. And I'm just like, why? Especially when our apartment complex does not... Like, they will fine you if you are parked, if a certain amount of your tire is over the line. I don't... Oh. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> That's funny. I, I give you points for creativity, but with... Like, if you ignore the eyes, this looks like an ass. With a puckered lip butthole. And then, of course, are, the eyes are here, and then are, are the mirrors the ears? And then you got the little hippo sitting up top. I mean, if you're not hurting anybody, but once again, it looks like you have an ass on the front of your car. Like, spread-cheeked, about to take a shit. I don't know. All right, so now we're on the number one shitty car mod of this month, I believe so. Submitted four hours ago. Actually, all these are fairly recent. So, let's take a look. Uh, spotted in Phoenix. God bless America. We support our armed forces. Army, Navy, I'm assuming on the other side would be uh, Marines and Air Force. I mean, I'm... I, I'm... I appreciate, appreciate the message. I mean, it's definitely support your troops. Love the old car. I love this car, but why why the big old big old cock and by cock? I mean rooster just Like Nothing gets more American than just a chicken. I guess like If it was an eagle That that'd be more understandable if it was an eagle, but this is this is straight up a rooster. I don't I don't get it. All right, so that does it for this uh, exploration, I guess, of the shitty car mod subreddit. Um, some of these weren't that bad. And I'm definitely going to be cutting some of these out because they weren't that bad. But I, some of these, though, I just don't... It's just a bunch of why, I guess. Like, why would you do this? Once again, being a mechanic in West Virginia, I do definitely see some interesting things. And I have seen things a lot worse than some of the stuff posted on here. But, you know, people are going to do what they're going to do. So I can't necessarily make fun of them or what have you. Just be smart with your vehicles. That's all I can say. Be smart. Make sure they pass inspection. Follow your state laws. Whatever. If you guys like this kind of video that I'm doing, I'm going to be exploring some other subreddits. See what all they can present me with. What all jewels. I know I'm going to be going after, like, the mildly interesting, the slightly infuriating. Um, and then a few other ones that I can't remember the name of right now. But, uh, yeah. So, let me know what you think in the comments. Like this video if you like it. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And once again, I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.